Fuck all these niggas and bitches, they dead to me. I got the sauce, I got the remedy. Say my dog, but act like an enemy. I make a call and turn you to cannon. I'm wasting my time, I'm wasting my energy. Shot for my confidence, shot for a better. All right, so y'all y'all seen the news. The New York Knicks traded R.J. Barrett to the Toronto Raptors, where he was originally from, for O.J. Nadinobi and Emmanuel Quigley. The Knicks also get Precious Achua and Malachi Flynn. And the Raptors also get a 2024 protect pick, something like that. So... In today's video, we're going to be talking about why the New York Knicks made another casual, typical Knicks mistake. What's good, y'all? It's your boy. We're back again with another video. As y'all can see, I'm doing a new setup here. I'm not finished with it. I hope y'all enjoy it. I hope y'all like it. Uh, right now, up here, I got this like that. And everything, I'm still working on it. But let's get right to it. Knicks fans, y'all can make y'all comments in the, in the in the description down below. Comment all y'all want to. I'm about to get real personal with y'all. I'm about to get real with y'all. Look, OG Anobi, very solid player. He is one of the most underrated players in the NBA. Can defend at a high level. Can get to the basket at will. Can shoot a three ball. And he'll get you 20, sometimes 30, maybe 30 a night. Definitely around 17, 18 points a night. He's going to do his job. He's very consistent. It's one thing about him. He's going to bring what he usually brings every night. Unlike RJ Barrett, who has been coming on as of late. But he's he is very inconsistent, but he's young. So I understand that trade. If it was just if it was just doing RJ Barrett for OJ Ananobi, cool. No problem. But here's where y'all messed up at, as usual. Look, Emmanuel Quickly is really the key to y'all team. He is a really a six man. He is really a bucket gear off the bench. Can really start on the team. He, he can start. He can really start on Toronto Raptors. He could. Even though Toronto Raptors have a lot of talent on their team now. A lot of talent. Right? But man quickly was getting y'all energy off the bench. If you, if the starters, if Jalen Brussels off, man quickly come back, he'll come off the bench and give him minutes and give him good big time buckets in the crunch. Especially in the crunch. When they really need it the most. If Jalen Brunson is struggling, if if RJ Barrett was struggling, if Julius Randle was struggling. But now y'all trade that away and get Malachi Flynn. Why not try to try to get DeGarrett Trent Jr.? So y'all can at least swap that. Now y'all lack a little bit of a little bit of scoring off the bench. Now. I mean, Quentin Grimes is cool, but he's still young. And he's still trying to develop into what he really can become. So, that right there, you trading away Emmanuel quickly, it makes the Toronto Raptors even more loaded. Right? And on top of that, y'all traded this away to an East team. Why y'all didn't try to do it to with a West team? Now y'all doing to the to opponent that y'all facing in y'all conference. Who yes, their record's not good right now. But with this trade, the Toronto Rodgers, in my opinion, they won this trade. With this trade, maybe not this year, but next year they're gonna be they're almost gonna be like OKC in the West. I guarantee you. Next year. Right now, they're young. They don't know how to flow with the chemistry right now. Scotty Barnes gets his, and then Pascal gets, see, I can get theirs. And, and, you know, the rest of the team is just all over the place. So, yes, 
y'all needed to get rid of either Siakam or OG Adenobi, which y'all did. And y'all got RJ Barrett, who is young, but he's talented. And he has room to grow. And he's in a perfect situation because this, obviously, this is where he's from. And he, he probably wanted to go to Toronto, right? And now you're in a situation playing with Scotty Barnes. Who can who can do everything on the floor, right? So, in my opinion, Toronto won this trade, and Toronto is going to be a, a problem in the in the East in a year or so. This year, they they still they still have some growing pains, but next year they're going to have a problem. Next, like I said, y'all like scoring off the bench now, and yes, OG Anobi is a very solid player. He's going to give you defense. He's going to give you buckets. But is he going to give you a Eastern Conference Finals? No. Is it going to give you a better record than what y'all have? No. In my opinion, it's going to be y'all going to have the same record. Y'all going to be probably at best third, fourth seed. Fourth, fourth, fifth seed in the East. And it looks like y'all gonna do this again. Y'all gonna get a first or second round exit. Knicks fans, do y'all really want that again? All this trust the process BS. No, I know Knicks fans. I know y'all haven't won in decades. Y'all gotta do something. And this, it would be the right move if it was just. RJ Barry, but you trade away Mayo quickly. It's like you you got scoring off the bench, and it's like now the, the Raptors going to improve. They might be better than y'all next year. Knicks fans, I hope y'all not through. Y'all got to make some more moves because, in my opinion, I honestly Julius Randle's. I'm not a big fan of Julius Randle. He's he's a great player. He's a really solid player. He's an All Star. But you know he can't do anything with his right hand. Okay? Everybody knows he's going left. Every time in the playoffs. Everybody knows what he's going to do in the playoffs. He's going to go left. You don't know how to go right. Right? He plays like a guard. Okay? And there's been games where he goes like four for 20. So y'all also need to get another you know center because well y'all got pressure to chew so i that was solid y'all got pressure to chew so y'all got y'all at least got some size to you know come back from uh mitchell robinson but this y'all did this for another sacral acid we'll see what happens man that's just my opinion I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Give your boy a like if you, if you did. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Appreciate y'all tuning in for this video. Give me to a thousand subscribers eventually. And I appreciate y'all tuning in for this video. I, I see y'all next time. It's been a boy, Will, and I'm out.